Well, hello everyone, and welcome to another Give Back series. And I am really excited to have Sarah Kaderi here with me today. And for those of you that don't know, I'm Gary Barnes, GaryBarnesInternational.com. And so the whole series was is designed about give back. So there's no bait and switch. There is no commercial. Now, Sarah does have a free gift for everybody uh, being on the program today. But uh, Sarah, welcome. Thank you very much, Gary. Such a pleasure always to be in your presence and to share with your people. Well, you know, the, the, the topic today is really relevant even more, I think, right now as we're in a challenging time. And, you know, over the years, I have felt like most program or most economies are challenging in some way. But it really is about, you know, how to come out of this in a much stronger way. And one of the things that you and I were talking about earlier today was that people really have different things they do at different times during the year, year over year. So sometimes like right now, it could be spring cleaning. And what I really want to ask you is what should be you know, some of the things that you recommend that people really do now to really have that impact as we're coming out of this. Right. Well, and more so, we also talked about how do you actually gain that momentum, right? Right. So the definitely now, now more than ever, right, we get to really look in. We get to look into ourselves and where we're at. So like when you brought up, you know, spring cleaning, one of the, the big things that always comes to mind right now is how can we look at our current business and what are some of those odd ends that we haven't put together? You know, a few different things just in our business ourselves, And also with the current circumstances, what have we kind of shifted out of or what kind of behaviors have we moved away from? You know, simple things like, how are you waking up in the morning? Are you actually waking up for success? Or are you coming downstairs, right? <laughs> Without a shave or still in your PJs? Like the difference of shifting into momentum could be getting up for success and, you know, getting yourself set no matter what. Because just like I shared with you on the call, our, our conversation was, you know, here you were always told, you know, get up, get dressed, get ready for success because you never know who you're going to come out across the path of while you're out and about, now it's, you never know who that Zoom call is going to be coming in or where you're going to get that opportunity, right? Coming well, forward. It, 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 when you talk about, you know, the momentum, it's also not to lose the momentum that everyone has already created. One of my definitions over the years has been momentum is not necessarily speed, but movement. And that's really what you've described. Right. It's consistency, right? Don't, lo don't lose your routine. Don't lose that that consistency of what you get to do and in every day have have goals set for what you want to achieve in that day. So just even saying, you know, centering around you and center around in your business, you know, spring cleaning right now, take a look at what you have for digital assets out there. What about your website? Is there something there that's no longer relevant in the shift of what's happening right now? Like I shared with you, I visited with a client earlier and we were looking at a lot of her content and her email funnels and things of how she's communicating. And much of what she used to say was relevant then. She deals a lot of with individuals in corporate America that are looking to leave corporate America. Well, circumstances are a lot of people right now are just looking for jobs, right? They're not really looking to escape. They were let go or have been furloughed. You know, so that whole messaging here forward no longer relates to the masses like she was. So look at your business and is there a funnel or is content on your website or is your messaging, has it shifted? We get to look at that and, and evaluate and possibly change that. Well, in, in reality, we should be doing that probably systematically over the, the year anyway, wouldn't you recommend? Of course, but you know, the story everybody says of the cobbler's children and the cobbler's children's shoes, right? Think of how much before you have the intention of really looking at you and your business and dedicating to your business. And now's the optimal time to really take advantage of some of the time we're now seeing we have yeah. to focus on the business. So every day, 
putting an hour aside or two hours aside that this is the business, maybe dedicate a whole day out of the week to working on your business, cleaning it up, doing that spring cleaning, refining. I really like what you just said. You know, even if it's a half an hour, hour, or if you're an overachiever doing it in a day, but really it comes back to chunking it down to where it's not having to do it all at one time, but making it into a, a process that is sustainable. Right. And now more than ever, we get to look at ourselves, right? We get to really look at what was working, what wasn't working, what has to shift, what wasn't. And just really knowing that we get to take that time for us. Like I constantly say, you know, it's a reset. Right now we're going through a full-fledged reset. We get to reset everything. We get to be contributors to the economy and rebirthing it in a way of how we want to see it going forward. And we get to shift how things used to be done to how they get to be done now. And now more than ever, test the waters. Start doing the launch and adjusts, right? And, and test things out um, on seeing, you know, what is, what is connecting with your audience, what isn't any longer, you know? And fortunately, we have a lot of technology that either is very inexpensive or free mm -hmm. to be able to do what, it wasn't that many years ago that it would really be prohibitive, you know, just because of the cost to do the launch and adjust. Right, and now more than ever, there's new opportunities, right? New opportunities have unveiled, opened up, that we get to spread our message to the masses in a whole other way. So what else would you think would be uh, another key to, you know, really keeping and maintaining and ac accelerating the momentum? You know, it's definitely um, collaborative relationships, right? Start looking at now more than ever. I used to say even before everything happened with COVID-19, I used to say now is the time to come back to relationship building, come back to connection. And even more so coming out of this, a connection is so critical for us to grow. But in business, collaborative relationships are huge. Now's the time to nurture those and create those and really co-create together. Think of ways that you can serve each other's um, communities, and really look at partnerships that you get to grow and evolve together in each other's communities. Collaboration is going to be huge. So, is huge. so let's break that down a little bit more. I know that we keep these programs, these give back series short, but many people, I think, really doing a collaborative relationship is something that they either haven't experienced or if they have, they may have had a bad one. Um, once in a while, you and I, this is how we built our businesses forever. So this is just like falling out of bed for us. And now we fall out of bed and go to our office. So, but, you know, could you break down what you really look at? What is a collaborative relationship? What would look like? What would our, our listeners here on the show, what would they look for and how would they develop that? How would they design it? Okay. So, you know, even looking at strategic partners, that's another way to look at it. Strategic partners, those, those value add connections and relationships that, you know, you could bring to the table that will lift up your audience the same as theirs. So it's, it's a give and give opportunity on both ends. You're bringing high value to each person's um, platform or thing. So say someone like for me, uh, as a digital marketer, when I'm doing the digital marketing space, you know, it's bringing in somebody who is a professional on messaging, a writer, bringing in somebody who really optimizes on how to share with people about how to run ads, you know, for those people that are the do-it-yourselfers, right? Those are things I, I don't do on the digital marketing end. On my mentoring program end, it's bringing in individuals that will serve a community of entrepreneurs in so many ways that I don't. So it'll be like uh, partnerships with individuals that work on mindset. That's not something I personally work with, but they have an expertise and a specialty in, but their people also can benefit from what I'm providing in my community too for them and offering a whole bunch of other opportunities across the board, be it learning about money, be it learning about marketing, be it ways to grow your business, be it admin stuff. 
So it's finding those strategic partners and coming up together and making many programs together, many offerings, something that brings value to both communities, which may not be your strength, but you have a strength to give the other individual and vice versa. And what I look at is that what we're doing is supporting each other in our weaknesses so that together we're stronger and we can have a product or service that they could use in their community and vice versa, because we know that we can't be everything that we want. And I think that is, you know, we're going back to some very old principles in the, the 1800s, the early 1900s, it was everybody had a specific function and together they had a community. And really, I think that's what we're seeing today. And that's what you're describing. And so one of the things I'd like to bring up here for everyone listening is don't be afraid to ask. You know, it just people are there and they're willing to, to really open up and share. If they're a good fit, go for it. Absolutely. And, you know, the other thing that they get to do is, you know, look at what is right now. Not, I don't want to use the trending so much, but where are the opportunities? Where are the opportunities to expand your reach, your voice, your everything from bringing people in to also you being able to get out there and podcasting, right? We hear about podcasting. Podcasting is huge. Even in a mentor momentum, we're running a podcasting course because it is the next big thing when it comes to publicity. Correct. Right. All around. So just in that collaborative relationship or, or building those relationships, start reaching out, look, look at opportunities for who has an audience you want to get involved in and ask to be on their show in the same way back. Start looking for people that are strategic partners you can bring in and expose your people to. Right. There's this there's just so many opportunities right now. And I've always called it like the good old boys club, the old way of doing things. Right. Because yeah. it was the hey, let me let me give you a hand up. You give a hand up and let's raise each other together where I feel before COVID, it got such um, such a competitive edge. Like if I let you in, you're going to take my people. Therefore, I can't succeed. So I must cut you off right? That was getting, I, I was finding it was getting stronger and stronger where people were like, I don't quite trust you to partner with you. Where I've always found it like with relationships with you and others, it's, it's always worked when your heart in the space is the client and the give, everything works out. And just like a mentor momentum, my whole thing is if I'm going to be able to connect you up with the one person you haven't been able to find yet, then hell, I'm so excited. Yeah. I'm like, I did my, pur that's part of my purpose. My purpose is not just to say you all are in with me and I do not share. And it's not the, uh, it's not the um, selling of lists either kind of thing either. It's, it's a pure give. And it's about how can I serve? How can I benefit? How can and it's really a, a collaborative is a symbiotic relationship where well, together we're stronger than apart. So, yeah. and, I, and again, I, I do watch the clock a little bit. So I want to honor everybody's time. Uh, another point, what would you like to share? Another point right now? Let's see, how else can you go out there and build momentum, right? What are, what are some of the strategies, actions you can take right now to start building that because the last thing you want to be doing is sitting back and all of a sudden uh, golf courses are opening, but, but you know, the, you know, we're going to get back to how are we doing business coming up? So you want to be in a space of momentum. So where are these spaces you can do it? It's also building your community. How are you getting your message out in the content you're sharing? Cause content right now, is huge. You may not be running ads or you may not be doing marketing the way you used to, but how are you bringing value to your people now and in inviting people in to your space? So community is huge and community here forward is going to be ginormous. So a little bit going back to where we were talking about uh, spring cleaning and things that people were doing if somebody was having a program that maybe took more of a traditional sense of delivery and now because of needing to do more spacing, the, 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 um, the, the virtual delivery, 
is there a process you would recommend for people to look at how to do that transition, not necessarily create a new product, a new service, but I, I know people are getting stuck there. They just don't know how to, to move into the world that we have found ourselves in. So you mean going from maybe like a more of a live environment to what does it look like to have a virtual environment? Yes. There's so many ways that you can recreate what you were doing live. You know, um, there are a couple things that have shifted a little bit, like like attention spans, <laughs> right? It, having people in a room, you have a little bit more of attention span. So adjusting in a virtual space is how can you snip it down the content or what it was you were delivering before and bring value. So there's ways of doing it like mini courses, mini, mini um, masterminds, mini just smaller, more compact, but power punch of value in the content that you're delivering and the people that you're bringing in. So you still can hold live events if that was something you were doing. You can still hold those type of live events, but uh, again, attention spans, people are on Zoom all day long. It's like, okay, how do we get in and get do and be productive? And, and that's the big thing is people wanna see delivery of action right now. So the process is what can you create in what you're doing now with a, with a launch out the gate? Like what, what action are they taking or getting immediately from the moment they're sharing with you? So it's just reevaluating that. And actually that's part of my free offer is we get, we're going to do that. Yeah. And we're going to go there. So everyone that you're on the call, what we're going to do is we're going to, you know, have Sarah just really break down what the free offer is, but we're going to come back and she's going to give you the three action steps, the walk away, the, the walking orders, if you will, <laughs> um, what to do right now when you leave the call, because I know that Sarah and I, we are all about the implementation, not just the theory. And so we want to give you that. And then at the very end, we're going to ask, ask there any questions that you might have that you're putting in the Facebook uh, feed there. So Sarah, go ahead. Uh, tell us about the, the free offer that you're going to give away. Okay, great. So for those that have opportunity on Thursday to join me, we are going to do a Momentum Busters event. So a Momentum Busters event is actually getting you into action productive action based on what your goal is, be it like you were saying, Gary, how do I transition from something I was doing live to something now doing virtual? We are gonna spend up to two hours together and I am gonna set you free to start taking some action. So we're gonna come in together, we're gonna collaborate, we're gonna give you some ideas of what right now has you most stuck. Like what is it you wanna do for steps? and taking action. And it's going to be, I repeat, an action filled <laughs> two hours of you building momentum and then coming out of it with a strategy of how to continue going forward, how to continue building that momentum. Now, you're going to have to choose one thing. Like we're not going to do five different things that we can, we're going to come up with, but together as a group, it's, it's I guess you could say like a, a micro mastermind it's um let's take action and get you going and build some momentum so we get to see where the start is and where to go and one of the biggest values i see with this is you say you know really hone it down to one idea what one thing but you're going to be giving everyone the the pattern the the, the blueprint to do it on their own with other things so yes. they're going to know how to work through this even outside of that group yes and uh for you guys that may not know Sarah, uh, to have this time with her individually is unique and special. Uh, it, this just doesn't happen. So uh, <laughs> I, I thank you for that. I, and you know, when I ask my guests, you know, to provide something that is valuable and as is really totally a, a free give back, uh, everyone comes up with a little something a little different, but. Uh, that is really, um, I thank you for that. So let, let's go back. So let's look at the, the, the walking papers. Not walking, that, that's getting fired. Uh, the, the, <laughs> yeah. the, mar the, the marching orders. So they, let's go to the marching orders. Um, three things that you would like to see people engage in right now to get the biggest momentum boost in their businesses. Well, first and foremost, evaluate 
what is it that is the most important for you to right now? Like we mentioned podcasting. So if podcasting is the thing, because it is one of the greatest ways for you right now to get out there, is I would say research some big, I'm going to challenge you to research some big podcasts, like get out there on Apple Music or even iHeart and choose five podcasts that are on there. Some of the top players, you can see the top lists and the ones that are very active and put in and ask about their show and inquire about being on their show. See what you can do, right? Just get out there right away. And if you are somebody that has a podcast yourself, I'm going to challenge you for step two to get yourself five new people. And I would challenge you to get five people that intimidate you. <laughs> so what, yeah, totally. Get the five people that intimidate you. Because one thing I've been told and I hear across, I'm, I'm in constantly in connection with you know my network is some of those big names or some of those people you feel are unapproachable, they used to do live events. They're all sitting at home twiddling their thumbs wanting something to do. So there are individuals right now that maybe in a month or two down the line aren't gonna be as open to doing an interview with you and supporting and doing that, that, that collaborative you know, engagement with you. So get them now. So that's either five podcasts and you subscribe and, and put your name in or you yourself go grab five people that intimidate you or a cool. challenge who you think are untouchable. Uh, the other one, let's see, content. We talked about a very little, but how you get to build community and how you get to, to bring uh, quality to your people, right? That is things of value. The other thing is come up with five key topics for yourself. So what are those five? So I'm dealing with five today. So five key topics of what five things can you develop content around? So that could be, that's something we'll go over in our, our event on Thursday for those that are going to join us. But we can look in depth of how does that look? But if you come up with five topics, and the cool thing about that is the five topics could be five days of content. The topics could be, oh, that is a mini course I'm going to do. Or the five topics could be, that's five months worth of information I get to build how to communicate to my community with. So those are the things I would say right now. Get out creative is basically what you're saying. Get yourself yeah. out there. Yeah, take, take a risk, be seen, ask. Um, one of the books that I have recommended over the years is called The Aladdin Factor. And it was written by Jack Canfield and Mark Victor Hansen, you know, chicken soup guys. And the whole idea of the book is A-S-K to G-E-T. And the answer, if you don't ask, is always what? No. <laughs> you know, like, and it's amazing, you know, like what you just said, when you ask somebody that you think is way above you or they're way too busy, you're made up a story. If you ask, you'll be surprised who actually says yes. And it, it could be something that ends up being a really great relationship and a friendship forever. And um, I, over the years, I've had that happen for myself. So uh, you're going to be putting the link into the Facebook thread, correct? Yes. Uh, how people that can now. register for the, um, the event on Thursday. And... You know, I, again, for everyone that has been uh, viewing the, the Give Back series, thank you so much. Uh, if you have suggestions on topics of, uh, that you'd like me to find individuals to bring on to the uh, Give Back series, please reach out. Again, my direct email is gary at garybarnesinternational, spelled out, dot com. And so you don't put spelled out there. They're just international is spelled out. <laughs> we were talking earlier, uh, one of my clients, I said, you know, what is the number one question that computer help centers are still getting? And the question is, where is the any, A-N-Y key? Because the brochure, the manual says, press the any key. And, you know, they read That's it right. that way. And it, it, they're, and they want to just press a key. But anyway, so... But I do appreciate you. And so we're going to end today with uh, Sarah. What is 
the, the final thought, what would you like to give everyone? You know, the key to building momentum is doing something of action every day, no matter what, to be able to flex and adjust and commit to really being purpose driven in your day to build your business versus sitting back. I did forget. Uh, can you see, are there any specific questions for you on Facebook? Um, we, we have some fun people for sure in here. Uh, Ted Pedromo always makes me laugh. Hold on. There's five comments. <laughs> Ted's going to be one of my interviews, uh, here in a couple of weeks. Yes. And I also see, um, Donald Graham. So no, no questions yet, but of course okay. I'm going to come in and I'll watch this and answer any questions that we can. And I look, I really hope to see many of you on the Momentum Busters event here on Thursday, because truly I'm going all in to support you because that's my come from, right? I want to see all entrepreneurs succeed, especially even now. And again, it is not a bait and switch. This is true value that Sarah is giving back to our community and together we're going to be stronger. So with that, Sarah, thank you so much for your time today. I really value it. And uh, we'll see everybody on the next uh, Give Back series, video video series. We're, we're going to come up with a, a formalized title here that this has really started to build some momentum. So with that, you, we'll, say, we'll see, see you on the next show. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Bye -bye. Gary. Bye. You're welcome.